Hey, what's going on everybody, and welcome back for another Fallout 4 mod review. As you can see from the intro, we are checking out a really cool piece of armor, and that is the Doom Guy by Athena X. Now, quite some time ago, Athena X actually created the Doom 3 Super Shotgun, and now you have the perfect set of armor to accompany it. Now, it feels weird to say, but this armor kind of fits in Fallout 4, and let me explain why. First of all, all of the armor pieces are actually segmented. Rather than one set of armor, this is actually pieces that you can mix and match. So if you want the arms, legs, chest, helmet, or even the under armor, those are all separate pieces that you can wear individually, which I really like. It's one of the best parts of Fallout 4 in my opinion. I really like the layered armor customization. You also have access to all of the other armor upgrades that you would find on any vanilla armor, including the ability to change it from light, medium, and heavy. The gritty style of this armor honestly just kind of fits the Fallout aesthetic, almost like an advanced set of combat armor. And I mean, the Doom Guy does have the ability to travel interdimensionally, and there is a Vault Tech Easter egg on one of the Doom games, so you know what? That's enough for me to give it the <laughs> DAX certified, lore friendly seal of approval. In all seriousness, though, this is from the Doom game, but now it's in Fallout 4, so if you've been wanting to play as the Doom Slayer, you can really do that now with a full set of armor, as well as some other Doom-inspired weapons, like the Doom 3 Super Shotgun. Now, as for actually acquiring this thing, you'll be able to craft it at a chemistry station. So here you can see the new Doom armor section in your chemistry station. When we click on there, we'll be able to craft all of the new Doom items. Now, it's going to look a little bit cluttered, but I'll explain shortly. You start with the Doom Guy gloves and the Doom Guy suit, that's going to be your Under Armour. And then we have the actual pieces, the chest piece, left arm, left leg, right arm, and right leg, and then the helmet. But you'll see that it loops. We have the chest piece again, left arm, left leg, etc. And it will do that a third time as well. Uh, that's because these are actually the light versions up here at the top, the medium versions here in the middle, and the heavy versions down here at the bottom. We'll look at their actual stats in the Armour Workbench. Once these are actually crafted though, say you grab one of these heavy pieces, if we craft it, you will see heavy doom armor, and that's how it will appear in your inventory. It's just a little bit of a naming issue here in the workbench itself. And then at the very bottom, we actually have a doom helmet that features the HUD targeting system. So when we take our pieces over to an armor workbench, we will have a handful of options. Really quick though, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these stats. Here we have the light armor, which does have 8 damage resistance. 8 energy resistance and 8 radiation resistance for the arms as well as the legs. And then the chest piece will have 12 damage, 12 energy, and 12 radiation resistance as well. For the heavy armor though, we have 22 damage and energy resistance along with 14 radiation resistance for the arms and legs. And then the chest piece will have 38 damage and energy resistance and 18 radiation resistance. The helmet will have 20 for all three. Now the suit actually does allow for a ballistic weave. Ignore all of the extra weaves because I do have AWKCR installed. And then for the armor pieces themselves, you can convert them from light, medium to heavy armor, as well as put on any of the pieces that you would normally find in a vanilla armor set, like lighter build, padded, pocketed. You'll have to ignore, again, these different modifiers here, as well as paints. Those are because I have AWKCR again, which I'm looking to get rid of, so hopefully that won't be a problem in future videos. So for starters here, this is the Doom Guy Under Armour, as well as the gloves that you will be getting in this pack. Now, I'm showing this individually just because it is actually a pretty nice set of Under Armour. You can use this with Combat Armour or any other armor in the base game, and I think it would work just fine. Now here's a look at the Light Doom Armour. As you can see, it is the classic Doom Armour, but missing a couple of pieces like the Forearms and Thigh Armour. Because again, it's light, but it increases as you move up the ladder. Like the Medium Doom Armour. Here you can see that we have some beefier shoulder pads as well as a nice little tactical belt and even some thigh armor now. So we feel a lot more protected, keeping the classic Doom look still. And then finally, we have the full set of heavy Doom armor, complete with full ab blading as well as wrist braces. This is some really cool demon slaying armor. Very nice to see in Fallout 4. I'm very happy to see the amount of time and effort that went into this mod. It could have been as simple as just a Doom Guy outfit all in one, slap it on and call it that, but this thing was beautifully handcrafted, everything modeled again by hand, and they made light, medium, and heavy equivalents, which is one of my favorite things to see in an armor mod, not to mention it's all modular. This is definitely something worth grabbing if you're into Doom at all, or maybe even if you're not. Maybe you think this is good enough just to throw in your game as a really cool new armor set. Either way, it's a wonderful mod and definitely worth checking out. If you want to try it yourself, it'll be linked down in the description below. 
and don't forget to go out there and support the author. If you did enjoy the mod, endorse it. Consider donating if that's something you're able to do, but most of all, just show your appreciation for all of their hard work. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this one, and I hope to see you next time. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel in videos just like this one. So again, thank you.